Okay, I'm going to be installing Guacamole on this uh, Ubuntu 20 server following the Mystic Ryujin's Guac install script. Uh, first thing we need to do is just take care of a couple dependencies. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Uh, adding a repository. Let that go. Still thinking. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do app get update. And then the last thing we'll do is put on some free RDP uh, dev and X11. Now, once this is all done, we'll be able to access Guacamole from this browser that's in the background here. Um, just going through the basics first. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is grab his Guac install script just using wget. Okay, that's downloaded. We're going to make it executable. Right, there we can see it. And we're just going to go ahead and run it as root. Okay, and we're just going to go through all this stuff saying yes. And we're going to put in a password super secret. And uh, we're going to use the same password to keep things easy. Feel free to uh, zip ahead if desired. Don't worry if your uh, installation takes longer than mine does. I'm pausing the video when uh, longer processes are happening in the background and then resuming it once I see some movement. So this will take maybe, you know, five to ten minutes until it's all done just like this. And then here you can see the uh, directions for getting into the server. Obviously transpose localhost for the IP address. So colon 8080 forward slash guacamole. like so. And then the default credentials are guac admin and guac admin. Awesome. Uh, Multi-factor authentication has been enabled. Uh, so just take your little um, authy or Google Authenticator or whatever tool you prefer. I'm going to use the Google Authenticator. Oh, scan your QR code like so and we're in okay once you're in the next thing is to uh, configure some servers that you'd want to connect to so under guac admin come to settings then come to connections now another thing that's really helpful is uh, to do the users and and in this video i'm going to omit adding ldap but it is not terribly difficult. Uh, follow the standard directions. And then I've included an excerpt in the video description down below of my guacamole.properties file that worked well for me with Active Directory. 
Uh, for kicks and giggles, I'm just going to add in, uh, let's see, Strator. Got to spell it right. Okay, I'm creating this user account, uh, giving them permission to all connections. So, and they can be an admin. Do, 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 just like that. Okay, uh, save that account. Now let's come over and add a connection. And this connection is going to be using remote desktop. And I'm going to connect to, I'll just call it uh, server 2016 AD, like that. And then this is where you come down here and you provide some, some information about that server. So this is 90. 3389. Now, one cool thing about Guacamole is it has awesome documentation. So, uh, one thing that's that's really helpful are these things called parameter tokens, and it's in section five where you can just search. There we go, parameter tokens. That's one we want. And so, when you set up a connection, you can take the user's logon name, the name they logged into Guacamole with, and pass that down to the server in question uh, for somewhat of a single sign-on, right? So it's still using, if it's, if it's Active Directory, the user's uh, credentials from Active Directory, and uh, it works, works like a charm. Uh, let's see. Like that, and... Really, I think this is all I want to toss in there. So I'm just going to come down here and hit save. And then let's test it. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to log in as administrator. And I need to put in my MFA token code. Now, the MFA is not required, but it is one of the options in the Mystic uh, Guys script to get it installed. And there you can see I got my server 2016 server I can connect to. It passes through to the server my credentials, and I'm logged in as uh, my, my administrator account. And this works very, very well through clientless uh, VPN portals as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, installation video of Guacamole.